Hey guys, this will be the last time I, I do my videos like this. Uh, I'll be in front of the camera next week. I've just had a really bad ankle and I've been sick. And uh, I really need to shave. So uh, that's, that's why I've kind of been staying behind the camera. Because I just feel like total, total shit. But uh, yeah, let, let me get down to the review of Round Robin Challenge. I know a lot of people have been, been requesting this show as well. And if you're a Brian Danielson fan, this is a must-have show. And this is the uh, it, the retail version of it. So this there's a lot of matches that are missing from here. Um, the 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 version from ROHWrestling.com is out of stock, uh, but you, you should be able to find the show on eBay for definitely under ten dollars. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to find it for under ten bucks. And round robin challenge. And this is kind of be kind of going to be a video response to Big Rat 310's uh, review of it, because there's some things that he mentioned that I want to follow up on, but uh, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, first match from the Round Robin Challenge, obviously the Round Robin Challenge featured American Dragon, Brian Daniels, uh, Christopher Daniels, and Low Key, but the first uh, match from the Round Robin Challenge was American Dragon versus Christopher Daniels. They opened the show up with a bang. This is a very solid match. Uh, this great stuff here. Uh, you know, and, and one thing that I want to say about this match is that uh, Christopher Daniels was only 30, was 30 years old at the time. It's, I don't know, it's, it's not old, but, you know, and that's pretty much your prime as a wrestler, you know. Uh, so he's about 38 right now, and uh, I'd be lying if I, if I said that he wasn't better back then athletically and, you know, it's, he, I, I don't know, maybe he's the same kind of wrestler now, but Definitely, he was. He just looked a lot more sharper and athletic back then. So, uh, yeah, but him and Brian Danielson, they, they just had a, a pretty pretty decent match. You know, this is probably the best opening match from 2002. So, yeah, we, we got off to a pretty good start. Uh, Christopher Daniels actually ended up making Brian Danielson tap out to, to uh, a crossface submission hold. So, uh, so, next up, we got Prince Nana and the Tower Boy, Eric Tuttle. Uh, versus the Hit Squad. This is a this is a squash match. This is pretty much garbage. Uh, really nothing to talk about here. Uh, so next up we get Christopher Daniels versus Low Key. The next match in the Round Robin Challenge. Uh, once again, this is very good stuff. Uh, Christopher Daniels pretty much dictated the pace. He pretty much controlled the whole match. And uh, then this started building up. Low Key was kind of selling some injuries, and then he sh Low Key showed some fighting spirit. And uh, eventually, he, he trapped uh, Christopher Daniels in a submission hold. Oh, God, I forget what it's called. But, uh, yeah, he stretched him out and uh, made Christopher Daniels tap. After the match, Christopher Daniels was kind of bitching how he had to wrestle too close together. So he was upset about that. He thought Ring of Honor screwed him. Uh, so next up, we get Spanky versus Jay Briscoe. Very good match. Uh, Spanky actually got busted open, started bleeding, had a laceration, uh, pretty, really, really solid stuff here, uh, so Spanky ended up getting the sliced bread to get the pin on Jay Briscoe, and, uh, just another solid match, uh, this is, the storyline here was Jay Briscoe went on a losing streak, and then Mark Briscoe was kind of frustrated to keep seeing his brother lose, so this was kind of the start of the Briscoe's, uh, feud here, uh, next up we get the SATs versus the Vine Storm, all right, the, uh, DVD box cover doesn't even have the match right. Uh, it's actually SATs versus Divine Storm versus uh, Amazing Red and uh, Brian XL. So this is a three-way tag match, kind of a lucha style, lucha rules match. Uh, definitely fun stuff. You know, a little bit sloppy, but just uh, pretty exciting stuff. Th these three teams worked together on the previous show in an uh, elimination singles match, I believe, and. Uh, yeah, just good stuff. The Vine Storm was the first tag team to get eliminated. Then it came down to Amazing Red and SATs. SATs is probably uh, Ring of Honor's best tag team in 2002. You know, they were kind of they kind of brought that lucha Mexican style to Ring of Honor, and uh, this match is pretty decent. And uh, next up, we get the main event: uh, Low Key versus American Dragon with Ken Shamrock as a special guest referee. Uh, you can see the first half of this match is very MMA influenced. They uh, did a lot of ground and pound mat work. Uh, definitely a throwback, you know, to the ancient Greece style of wrestling. Uh, and this had to be very refreshing, because definitely WWF was not putting on stuff like this at the time at all. 
not that they're doing it now either, but I'm just saying that this is just a very rare to see this kind of match in, in North America. And uh, very athletic stuff, you know, it started picking up. Uh, Loki actually did Academy Relation, and then and then Brian Danielson did a uh, Loki submission, and uh, they started building from there. Brian Danielson hit a lot of nice suplexes. I think he hit a Regal Plex. He hit uh, a, a lot of Dragon suplexes. Uh, Loki did a Key Crusher. Brian Danielson kicked out, and then Loki actually did the Key Crusher off the top rope. That was brutal. It still couldn't put Danielson away. Danielson actually made. Low-key pass out to the Academy Relation with the Academy Relation submission hold. So yeah, I'm going to say this is five stars. This is the best Ring of Honor match from 2002. Uh, definitely. Um, round Robin Challenge, the first Round Robin Challenge. This is probably, I'm going to say this is the third best Ring of Honor show of 2002 out of the 12 shows that they've had. And uh, I know Brigger Rat 310 has some issues with the show. He was kind of disappointed that there wasn't a clean-cut winner for the Round Robin Challenge. Every guy ended up winning a match. and uh, But, you know, I, I think with the position that Ring of Honor was in, young company, at this time they only really had three main event guys. So I think they wanted to keep everyone looking strong. I don't think they wanted to... Low-key was already put over in the first show, and I, I don't think they wanted anyone to stand out as, you know, as the, the top guy. I think they wanted to keep all these guys even. So, uh, yeah, so that, that's why I guess they did it, you know... The round robin challenge for, for there to be a winner, uh, somebody would have had to lose twice, and I think that would have hurt Christopher Daniels or or Loki to do that. Obviously, Loki was not willing to do that because he, he has a he hates the job uh, apparently. So, uh, but the, the the second round robin challenge had a, a clear cut winner, so maybe you'll enjoy that more. But uh, I just think. For Ring of Honor, the, because they, they had they had so little main event guys at the time, I think this is the only way to do it. So it pretty much it made everyone look, you know, just look just as strong. So that's probably why they did it. So, and that's my Ring of Honor DVD review for Round Robin Challenge. Definitely pick it up. You can find it on eBay for really cheap. All right.